We weren't expecting you today. I'm sorry. I should have Oh, called. nonsense, nonsense. The Belle Clotilde is yours now that Jolie is gone. She talked about you all the time. <laughs> Her talk and your daddy's painting made me feel like I know you. What a fine painter he was. <sighs> I have so much to do in the next couple of weeks. I... I suppose I should catalog everything in the house. Take a walk around, acquaint myself with the place. I'll get Jethro to go with you. Jethro? He's the caretaker. Oh, oh, that's not necessary. It's broad daylight. I, I just saw some smoke down in the bayou. Don't go there. Why not? They'll cast spells on you like they did on Jolie. Who will? Gypsies. There are gypsies living at Bayou Chenier? How exciting! <laughs> They're evil people. They cast a spell on Mademoiselle Julie such that she lost the will to live. Oh, Mama Laurent, that's impossible. There are no such thing as spells. But it will make you feel better. I won't go just now. You're frightened. Ha have they done something to harm you? When she lay dying, they came into this house and wouldn't leave. I had the devils on time getting them out of here. Every once in a while, I still find one of them in here. Well, why didn't you call the police? <laughs> Gypsies go where they want. Child, you have much to learn. This is my property now, Mama Laurent. They have much to learn. Whatever you say. Jethro! I'll get Jethro to take your things upstairs. <laughs> It's no wonder, after all that gypsy business today. Yeah, I guess I was a little tense. I found this old photograph album of Jolie's. There seem to be some pictures missing. I thought maybe you could tell me who they might be of. Which pictures? Well, here. And over here. I think this is my grandfather, but whoever was sitting next to him has been torn out of the picture. It's a very old picture. I just thought since you'd been with the family so long. That's right. Almost 60 years and I still have work to do. It's just like I don't know anything about my family. Mother never spoke of the Chignets. I think she really hated them. I don't know why. She wouldn't even let Daddy mention them, his own family. Now they're all gone. Your mother was very strong-willed. She was a real old-fashioned Southern belle. Oh, she fit right into Parisian upper class. Everything just so. Since she never spoke of the Chignets, I always wondered if we had some skeleton in the closet. You ask so many questions. It's just that I have no family now, Mom. And I'd like to know who I did have. Where I come from. Your Aunt Julie saved this. It was her mother. Grandmother Clotilde? I look like her, don't I? Small and dark, not like Grandfather. He was so fair. Oh, thank you, Mama Lorraine. Oh. Will you sit down with me sometime and tell me everything you know about the family? I'm an old woman. My memory is not so good anymore. Stefan Janos is doing some research on the area. Maybe he'll come up with some history of the Belle Clotilde. Gypsies lie about everything. We'll see. Oh, it's so humid. What do people serve for cocktails down here? 
the mademoiselle liked a julep, but only when it was very hot. I don't think I could take it if it got much hotter than this. Oh, I can't imagine anybody actually choosing to live in this climate. Oh. Now, take Dr. Dupre. Now, what's a clever city man like him doing at Bio Chignet? Some say he's got something to hide. A mystery man, hmm? You're not crazy about him, are you? We need a doctor. Before he came, we had none. Hmm. Two such interesting men in such a small town. Good night, Miss Lily. Good night, Mama Laurent. And thank you for everything. Mm -hmm.